Canada, they have things in Mexico, and they have things in all the other states. So other states are feeding them information, and if you have on your system everything checked off, because if you didn't know to go in there and uncheck them, you're going to get advertisements from all over the continent. So you can actually go in there and deselect everything but California. And you can also go into California and just deselect any of the counties you don't really have any interest in going to. If you don't want to go to Blythe, you can deselect that county. Because a lot of people, even in your small business uh, certification, you can select counties, but the default is statewide. So you get a lot of notifications that you may not be interested in. We do have some small businesses who are suppliers, and to them, sure, we'll ship stuff to, to Blythe, but as a concrete contractor, I don't really want to go to Blythe. So th those are the different things. Um, our Department of General Services outreach folks, um, they actually were just here, uh, and they are really great about helping you navigate that system and going in and uh, finding how to deselect and how to organize your system. Um, so you get the advertisement and bid information for where you want to work, which is really important because we all are getting snowed by information. And if it isn't snow you don't want, it's hard to get through that whole process. But e-procurement, bid link, bid sync is um, what the Department of General Services is using at this point. Um, and I apologize, it is a confusing system. I was looking at the numbers of small businesses that were certified last March prior to when this system came on board. And in our five county area, we had about 1,300 businesses. And now in BidSync, there's only about 850. And a lot of it is the difficulty navigating that system. So the Department of General Services really is working on trying to make it easier. Uh, but if you have questions or if you have needs to, to navigate that system, one of the other things that you received is my business card. Give me a call, we'll navigate through it. Yes. When we registered as a small business, mm -hmm. it flips you to bid sync. So when you finish the registration, are you in the right place or do yes. you register in the wrong Yes, place? you should be in the right place. Because that's where the application sits and Right. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So but if if you see anything that says for six hundred and ninety nine dollars we'll send you all these different you're in the wrong place. Back out until you get to the other side of the thing. Yes. I just want to say thanks for putting all your solicitation to me. Apologies for that. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yes? It seems that um, we get notice of this, but every time we click on it, it says it's going to cost us money to find out what this bid is about. We have to go to bid link or whatever the money side of this thing is. So my question is, does the state have a website similar to the one you were just showing us at Caltrans now? The, the Department of General Services, it is in the bid sync, but it sounds like what you have done is all of yours are selected. And so it's, even if you registered correctly and you still have all of the other places designated that you want to hear about them, yes, they will say you have to pay to get that uh, information. And you just need to go in and deselect that. California and San Jose. County, that's all I put. Okay, well, I, I'll, um, okay. I'll give you a phone number. Um, the Department of General Services advocates are wonderful. They're extremely responsive. Uh, at the end of that phone, rarely is an automated teller. It's usually a human being who knows exactly what the whole system is. They know um, who to go to, and they can actually, on the phone, walk you through, if you explain, well, this is what I'm getting, they will ask you your business. They'll actually go into the system and look at how you're registered. And they'll say, okay, what we need to do is back out for you and change you potentially into the
the right system. So it, it really has been confusing. DGS openly admits that um, it wasn't the best decision they ever made and that they rolled it out before they were ready. Uh, they, they set a date and the information wasn't ready, DGS wasn't ready, and so unfortunately the rollout has not been the best thing that ever happened. Um, so, however, the old DOS-based system was about ready to crater, and they didn't want to lose what was in there um, so that they could populate over, transfer the information over. <laughs> Working on only if you are asleep. Um, so anyway, the other website I'd like to call attention to is the very last one under Caltrans. It's, it's called Caltrans Matrix for Contractors for Various Needs. That particular website is a lot of the same thing the office engineer has, but in a different way. It looks like a checkerboard. And it's, you just click on it for, for different items. Um, and one of the really handy items that's in there is called the Look Ahead. Uh, and that is, every district has provided the office engineer information on the jobs that they're working on that they plan to bid out in the next 12 months. And uh, it's by district, uh, starting with District 1, which is Eureka. Uh, and there are hundreds of contracts in there. And it just takes a while to scroll down and find. Um, if you're willing to work in Ventura County, that's District 7. Uh, if you go over to Kern, into the Central Valley, that's District 6. Uh, so you can look and see, oh, what, what's going on and where, what's coming up, which is kind of nice. You can kind of plan on some of the items that you think that we should be doing, and hey, potentially there is a contract out there or a job that looks like it may be coming for that particular thing. So that's a that's a good one. Um, the minor B contracts, which are the um, contracts at this point, as of today, public works contracts are less than $147,000. That's similar to the small business DVDE option. Uh, those contracts will also, on January 1, the threshold for those will be going to up to $250,000. A lot of those are jobs where we've had a slip out or we've had a failure and it's a small job just to, to get the road clean and to get uh, maybe some blankets on a couple, an area where the road is beginning to fail. So they're all small jobs. Um, those are out there and our our unit maintenance design unit that puts out a lot of those are wonderful about finding small businesses. Uh, last year, 98% of the contracts that were in the minor B field were let to small businesses. So that's, that's a, a great option. And that can be found, that link can be found there. And many of them <coughs> are not advertised, mainly because of this DVD option we don't have to advertise them. The DBBE small business option is a way where, the, if I were the contract manager at Caltrans and I had a job, for instance, we had a facilities job recently. Um, our building was designed and built in the 50s uh, with galvanized plumbing. And um, let's just say it's been quite odiferous the last couple of years <laughs> because the pipes literally were melting away. So we had a project that was about $100,000 for someone to come in to open the walls up, get to the plumbing, and fix and change out all the plumbing. And our facilities manager came to me and said, hey, I need to find some small business, disabled veteran businesses to go to to get a quote to try to do this work. And so we went to the Department of General Services website um, and I've downloaded uh, information, each county, all the businesses that are in that county and what they do. And we found what you have to do is you have to get either two small businesses 
or to disabled veterans. 